SpySociety99.com. Um, there's the artwork one, which is uh, horribleartwork.com. So there's all. Are you on Facebook? No. I I, um, I have enough. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't need any more websites or anything. In fact, I, I don't even do all that. I, I let my webmaster handle all that. Um, uh, right now, um, as I said, there's going to be a, a lot of websites that will be out there. Uh, but currently at the taping of this, uh, I believe a few of them are under construction, so it's out there. There's a, there's a lot of different websites that are fan-based uh, sites uh, dedicated to Empire Hideous or, or Spy Society. But I know that your current project right now, though, something that you're working on and have been working on for many years, is your art. Want to tell us a little bit about your art? Yeah, I've, uh, I've been an artist... Uh, for many, many years, I was about 12 years old when I began drawing um, monsters in, in eighth grade, and uh, the teacher would holler at me for not paying attention. <laughs> so it started at a very early age, and uh, for many, many years, I was sort of, I had blinders on in, in a sense that I only had one style of, of art, and that was creepy, uh, you know, real morbid um, type of, of art. And it really didn't change for many, many years until uh, I would probably say only up until about recently, about four years ago, uh, when I started uh, photographing. Um, and at the same time, I started doing different styles of art. Uh, I had to expand. I had to 
I had to find something that made me feel good. And rather than doing the same old thing for 15, 25 years, I had to do something different. And that was um, touching on different styles of art. Uh, I, I know it might sound kind of weird. If somebody could look at my website and say, well, why is Mike taking pictures of flowers, you know, or, or painting birds? Um, <laughs> it's just a new, a new outlook. It's, an, it's a new experiment. So to speak. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And, uh, I just had to get into. So, things. so you also use photography, not just uh, uh, painting per yeah, se. I'm, Do I'm, you use oil paint? Do you use any kind of uh, other medium when you paint? I, I use a lot of different mediums: watercolor, oil, acrylic, uh, drawing with uh, f those thick graphite pencils. Um, uh, what else? Sculpture. I do a lot of what they call assemblage sculpture, which is. Um, utilizing all bits and pieces of things. I use bones and insects and, and, and fla dried flowers and uh, all kinds of crazy stuff. Well, I know a lot of our viewers are uh, vampires. Obviously, this is targeted to the vampire community. And uh, do you use any kind of uh, blood or something of that nature in any of your artwork? Um, I've done a few pictures, in fact, uh, there's a, a piece that I had uh, gone into the, in the computer, we, we, we laid something out. Uh, there's a piece that actually has a, a section where there's a pool of blood. It actually came from a scar, I don't know if you could see that, but that was a 20 stitches scar. Um, utilized my own blood for, um, for a piece that I did years ago. Now, um, I don't particularly uh, you know, some people, they'll do like a whole series using blood. Um, I'll, I, I have a couple that I've used blood. In fact, there's, there's the one I just told you about, and then there's another one um, that I did that actually has vials of my blood. Uh, in fact, Dr. John and Marjana were actually uh, there when I, I uh, had it drained from my arm and into the vial. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, <laughs> now, now, this artwork, is it for sale? Is this yes. uh, purchasable pieces? Um, as of lately, uh, I officially opened up my art website in uh, 2008, uh, called HorribleArtwork.com. And um, it was very difficult to make the transition from hoarding all my artwork for the last 35 years sure. to having to be able to let it go. Let it go, of course. Uh, and I've, I've recently learned how to but accept that. Well, you know, being a vampire and creating artwork, particularly the pieces including your blood, and I, I'm sorry, but that's really fascinating for me. Um, the, the value of a piece of, of art that has the artist's blood must uh, be extraordinary, I'm imagining, right? In some cases, um, yeah. And how can you part with it? Would you feel comf Do you feel comfortable parting with it? Uh, because, I mean, it's such an intimate and personal uh, and sacred uh, part of yourself. Yes, it is. Um, uh, to answer your question about if, it is, if it's for sale, the two items I just spoke of actually are my personal collection. Okay. Now, the, the picture that has the section of blood, that's actually being sold as a print. Mm -hmm. uh, so a lot of the pieces that I, I'm keeping for myself, I'm selling as prints. Okay, understood, understood. And I think that's wise. I think that's yeah. very wise, actually. <laughs> I'm, very, I'm still a hoarder. I'm still a hoarder. Well, and I also know that not only are you a very multifaceted creative artist, um, but you're also an occultist, so and you also study uh, uh, different paths. Uh, perhaps you can share with the viewers some of uh, your interests. Well, uh, for the last four years, I've been studying the Necronomicon. Um, I'm up to my seventh book on the Necronomicon. No, are you referring to H.P. Lovecraft's Necronomicon or? Simon. Simon, uh, the Simon book. Okay. Uh, th there's a whole history to the Necronomicon. Now, a lot of people will, you know, will, will debate uh, the fact that it, it's not an official book. Mm -hmm. um, I don't really care. I, I think it's a fascinating, uh, even if it is a hoax, it's the greatest hoax in the occult scene. Um, but it was based on Simon, this guy Simon from New York, from, Brook, from Brooklyn actually, uh, had, uh, they had stumbled across this manuscript back in 1974, I believe it was. And uh, the, they transcribed it uh, from Greek words 
uh, it was transcribed to English. Uh, from what they understand, it was the, the original writings of the Necronomicon. Excellent. And there have been many, many books based on that. Now, since then, I, I've been studying the Necronomicon. I found it fascinating. At the same time, I have also been studying demonology, uh, the history of witchcraft up until 1960, um, uh, Satanism, black magic, uh, and all of the above. Excellent, excellent. Well, you are very multifaceted, and it's wonderful that you're not just uh, an artist, but you're also a Renaissance man, since you have so many diverse interests and you really apply yourself. And um, I'm very honored and pleased to call you my friend. So <laughs> thank you very much for being here with us tonight. And uh, thank you for joining us on The Collective. Uh, please do subscribe um, to our future installments of this program on Vampire Lounge, on House of the Dreaming, and on YouTube.